This is the Simple Harmonic Motion Lab. In the diagram here you can see the setup. Basically we've got a ring stand supporting a spring that has a hanging mass on it and we're going to set it in motion oscillating and below with our motion detector we're going to uh, generate a plot of the motion of the oscillating spring. So there's basically four uh, trials you're going to do and let me show you what those look like. For the first trial uh, we're just going to uh, hang from the spring a 50 gram mass over the motion detector. So there's the setup and we'll start off with a 50 gram mass. We're going to look at two different situations with the 50 gram mass. The first one here will be a smaller oscillation compared to the second time. So I set it in motion, I collect my data, and I'll need to auto scale my graph. And there's my simple harmonic motion for a smaller amplitude with 50 grams. Next we'll try it again, but this time use a larger amplitude. We're going to compare uh, the periods of these two uh, oscillations. Same spring of course, just different amplitudes. And there is our uh, oscillation for the second uh, 50 gram amplitude. Uh, that data will be provided to you. Now we're going to add 20 grams and do the experiment again. So now we have a larger mass on the same spring. set it in motion and record our data and again once it's done I'll auto scale the data and that data file will be provided to you next we're going to look at damped oscillation so I'm going to take an index card attach it to the bottom of the mass and that will help to slow it down uh, due to air resistance and you can see from the graph the effect it had on the amplitude of the wave as time went on. Okay, so all all the data files will be provided to you. All you need to do is read through the lab, follow the instructions, and do the lab write-up, and use the data files that I provided to you uh, to uh, as your data.